Hello. All right. Pop that down a little bit. Hello. I'm going to start playing some Fire Promoter here. And we'll do a new game with a new promotion. Uh, we'll call ourselves Two K W. Okay, that'll work. Uh, I want to be King's Road because that's an awesome, but uh, I'll do Strong because I don't have many King's Road wrestlers, sadly. We got six 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 and noble. We'll we'll keep that. Alright, that's fine. And we'll be on normal. And we'll do sixteen promotions. We'll do my WWE modern. We'll do the New Japan that I have, which is there. Uh, do I guess NXT? Do AEW? Hey, Lewis, what's up? How's it going? Hope you are doing well. And I'm going to change these around, of course. And we'll just do the... Actually, I'm going to make that WCW. Make that the old WWF or the old WWE in the old WWF. We'll kind of make it this weird, like hodgepodge of different places. Meaning, AEW needs to be here, Ring of Honor needs to be here, shut some uh, NXT UK in there, uh, Impact. Lucha Underground. At the bottom level, I'm putting the Indies. 205 Live. The Old Indies. And... Uh, I guess I should really do the Japanese Indies. There's a lot more people in that. All right. So W, that works. That works. Sure. I kind of think their or WWE pass would be Shulman. WWE Pat or WWF Pat would definitely be showing. Uh, yeah, strong. Let get American strong. American strong. NXT UK is Europe showman. Impacts another America showman. Latin America Lucha. I'm gonna go American Lucha for 205. Uh, do American Strong for the old and then Japan Strong. Sure. 
Looks good to me. Let's get this started. So I have a bunch of free agents. And I think a bunch of potential. Like a whole bunch of potentials. Which is good. Alright. Let's get going. Alright. We have made our new promotion. The world is ours for the taking. We got our six nobodies. Uh, I think it's the same six every time. Year one, January. So our job is to book events and boost the popularity of wrestlers to compete on the world stage. We gotta set up our first event and the rest is up to us. So first thing I'm going to do is go and produce merchandise. Pardon me. And we'll make some goods to sell. I'm going to go look at my roster as well. So we have Jack Howard, a B popularity with a B attack and defense. So he's decent. Is a heavyweight too. Uh, B popularity, B attack and defense. Uh, Jack is also in the noble stable, which is our face stable. Uh, Matt Robinson also in our face stable. Just about as good. Uh, David Houston, a junior, C plus C plus with a C popularity, and the last member of the Noble faction. B plus B B plus for attack and defense, but only a C popularity. Mikey Mickey Mickey Williams Mickey Williams. So mm, not great. Thomas Walker, D popularity, C plus, C plus. Uh, bad. Not not what you want. And also a heavyweight. And then the junior, the bad junior would be uh, C plus, C plus, D. Again, not great. And is the last member of the 666 stable. So we have t four heavies and two juniors. I would want another couple juniors so the first thing I'm going to do is look for a wrestler who is strong style junior who is in our wheelhouse to sign And just looking through. Sami Zayn would fit the bill. It is a little bit expensive right now. But. He's a B popularity. Doesn't necessarily break the bank right away. Let's see if there's something a little cheaper. I, I would like to go under a thousand if possible. But not Gilbert. Uh, let's see what we're pulling up here. Junior. Oh, expensive junior. Oh, Xbox, very expensive. Uh... So far, Sami Zayn's looking like our best option. 
by quite a bit. Hey, Evil King, how's it going? What is up? Eh. A jobber, Bobby Walker. Hey, Trontastic, thanks for the follow, man. Enjoy your little Yoshi egg. Hi, uh, Lily, Bobby Walker. CCC for 600. This might be about where we're at right now. Lodi as well. Yeah, because it looks like a lot of the other people are over a thousand. Oh, Jack Evans is a strong style. Is not popular at all, but I like Jack Evans, so uh, I'm going to go in. Oh, Evan says no. All right, well, can't get everything there. I'm going to go to our first event then. I like to have at least four matches, so I'll, I'll invite two people. And I think I'm going to invite the two jobbers that I saw down here. So, Lodi and Bobby Walker. Now I just got to get to Lodi again. Uh, Lodi's not a strong style, though. I wonder if we can get, uh, anyone, let's see, just look here. Ooh, Wheeler Yuta. All right. I didn't even check his style. That's on me. Alright, so one thing that I always set up in order to kind of keep things consistent is I always go with the 10th match as the main event now. 20 minutes on that, and then 15, 15, 10, 10, 10, and eventually... I'll up these. But I don't want my workers going like 40 minutes. And also, we're going to watch some main events here. So, uh, we'll do the 2K Wrestling Heavyweight Championship on the line. And we'll pick the best from each stable. So, the best here is Jack Robinson. And the best of 666 is Mikey Williams. Hopefully that's a fun little match. We could also shove another title match on there. Because we do have two juniors. It would be David Houston. And Bill Bullock. That leaves us with Thomas Walker and Matt Robinson and also the two people who we hired. 
Bobby Walker. And Wheeler Yuta. Oh, I should hire Bobby Walker to team with Thomas Walker. That would be intelligent. All right. Let's see. So. Oh, yeah, no. Not worth it. We're not going to have a good capacity here. If we do a gym, we'll sell out. Uh, close. Now we're spending a lot of money. Better to sell out. So we'll do the sell out. And hopefully make some money. Alright, let us proceed to our first event. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Does everyone show up? Yeah! Alright, so we'll watch the main event. And skip the other three. Uh, the two freelancers match. Gets a... Bad drum roll. 76! And Wheeler Yuta gets a win. Matt Robinson and Thomas Walker. I'm hoping for Matt Robinson to get the win. And he does. Big win there. Junior heavyweight title, Bullock in Houston. Bullock gets a win with a stomach claw. How very junior heavyweight of him. All right, and the 2K Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. We got... Mikey Williams here. That's coming in a little hot, it seems like. There we go. The Hell Knight, Mikey Williams. And Hollywood hunk Jack Robinson here. Bang. All right, first ever heavyweight title match in 2K Wrestling. Starts off with an arm drag there by Howard. Forearm shot. Backing them down. Just feeling each other out here a little bit. Trying to figure out each other's style here. It just runs him over and tries for the pin. Gonna need to do more than that. Oh. Wins a test of strength there. Howard. Oh, atomic drop. Another test of strength. Mikey wins it this time. Gets the headbutt. Hollywood Hunk sent to the corner. Fights out of it, though. Then drops the elbow. Clubber in there. Down goes Jack. Oh, no! Oh, no! That is... That is not strong style wrestling. As Mike Williams bringing the hardcore into this. And then just stomping a mud hole and choking it dry. It's a very vicious style of wrestling here. By the man clad in black. It's going to take quite a bit for Robinson to... Or Howard, not Robinson. Howard to come back from this. 
that's a rough part about these all being fictionals. I don't know them well enough to recognize them by face. Howard. Vertical suplex. Drags him out of the corner for no reason. Oh, and working that leg there. It grinded his foot into the, the luscious blonde locks of the Hollywood hunk. And, oh, I thought we had a fire pro spot there for a second. And again, working the leg. And Mikey Williams setting up for something, that is for sure. Overhead suplex into a chin lock. It's taking a moment to catch his breath here and apply some pressure to the throat. Oh! Another overhead pulls him out. Picks him up. Against the ropes. Big lariat. Williams is up. And he's, he's biting him. Oh, gosh. He's busted open. Hard way from the bites. Just wrenching that blood out there. Just squeezing the blood on out. Oh, is, is the blood going to make Howard see red? Oh! Short arm there. But now, Mike Williams able to counter back with a vertical suplex and then stomping on his head. It's just the open wound there. Howard. Diving punch. And another. Dragging him into position here. But no. Mike Williams able to counter back. Oh! Jumping kick there. Howard calling for something. Oh, rolling lariat. But he's not able to capitalize as another vertical suplex to stall the momentum. Oh, what's this? TKO! Pin him! Pin him! One, two, three. Oh! I thought that was it. Oh, and a short run on his own. And then just this flagrant disregard for the rules here. But what can he... Oh, jeez. What do you expect from someone in a stable called 666? Tiger suplex. One, two. Oh, almost got him on the bridge there. Package pile driver. Oh, into the pool of his own blood. Pin him. One, two. Oh. I, oh, another tiger in the ropes, though. What's this? The claw. Oh, jeez. The iron claw. And then a sickle. How many different weapons does this man have? What a brutal individual. Flying fist drop, just trying to get momentum back on his side is Howard. It seems like, oh, Mikey is just trying to, Mickey, Mikey, whichever, he's trying to maim the Hollywood hunk. Oh, jeez. So again, flagrant disregard for the rules. Ooh, nice DDT there. They lock up. Howard pulls him where he wants him. Picks him up. Forearm shot. Oh, he was going to capitalize on it, but an eye rake stops that. Oh, oh, brain buster. Was not expecting that. Mikey up first, though. I think I'm going to commit to Mikey. It definitely says Mickey, though. Atomic drop. Oh, the mist. Oh, the mist. Oh, no. 
missed to a shot to the malls. Mick here. Take it. Oh no, a package pile driver. Desperation package pile driver. Pin him. One, two, three. Howard is the champ. He just had to endure everything to get there. It's a very nice first title match. Yeah, 90. I'll take that. And uh, Mickey Williams is a very, very hardcore wrestler. The only issue is that Matt Robinson and Jack Howard are in the same stable. I still think I'm going to have them go up against each other, though. All right, so we lost a little bit of money, but we'll get there. And Lucha Underground has a tournament this month. Hello, Silvered. How goes it? Ah, Kurt Angle joined the Indies. All right, so going back, let's check on how our merchandise did. It did terribly. Well, we'll keep it. Hopefully it'll sell something this time. All right, let's see if we can go offer a contract to... Uh, I believe it was uh, Wheeler Yuta who won that match there. We'll do 5,000. Wheeler Yuta has signed to us. All right. So that's good because Wheeler Yuta winning and then can get a junior title match. So it's consistent. Uh, and we'll put Wheeler in the Noble Stable for now. Just until... Oh, we don't have a scout out. Uh... Let's see. Shimbito... We will. Oh, Mr. Uh, yeah, we'll have you go out and see what you can find. So not much more to do here. We'll just move it on to our next show. Want to invite at least one person, and preferably someone we didn't invite last time. Looks like we got pretty close to the bottom there. And this would be another case where I want to pick up someone who is a junior. And in our price range. Uh, Nicole Savoy is there has decent attack cost a thousand uh. Mikey Whipwreck not good Nick Gage it's the same oh okay Well, what about our good friend, uh, did I pass by her? Yeah, there she is. 
All right, so we got Savoy. Uh, let us go to the event. And we'll put Jack Howard's title on the line. And Bullock, because we ended up signing Wheeler Yuta. So this will be Wheeler in this spot. And Matt Robinson is the one who won, even though they're in the same stable. Which means Nicole Savoy will have to fight someone from the 666 stable. And we could do... We'll do Thomas Walker. And Savoy leaving us with David Houston facing Mikey Williams. All right. I'll probably start separating these out once I get 10 or so wrestlers separating the title matches out. Man, we... It's close enough, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to... 5000 for a poster. We'll just do this. It'll be fine. I think this is good. Do a new save. Did it save? Okay. So let's go to the second show. Skip this match. I'm glad Savoy showed up, though. Oh, I... Savoy beat one of our wrestlers, so I am probably going to make a contract offer to her and put her in the 666 stable. Or just leave her... Might leave her unaffiliated until I decide to do something. Because I might do another stable anyway. Houston and Williams. Kind of a fluff match. Doesn't mean anything. David Houston winning with a lot Mahi Straw, but it was a terrible match. Yuta and Bullock. I would really love for Wheeler Yuta to win here. Oh, he does it, and it's a terrible match. Great. Solid. Oh, we're in like a 69 average so far. Okay. Matt Robinson and Jack Howard, save us. Noble, save us. Here he is, Matt Robinson, the Divine. The challenger for the 2K Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Here we also have the champion, Jack Howard, the Hollywood hunk. Had an outstanding match last month, last show. We'll go with show, even though it's month. Last month versus uh, 
Mikey Williams and his hardcore antics. Uh, Matt Robinson in the tur the blue, bluish color. And Howard in the black. Howard, of course, will be looking for that package. Pile Driver won the main event last month with the desperation, some would say, package Pile Driver. Robinson, as far as I remember, is a striker and will be looking to out out brawl Jack Howard. Although going for a quick pin here, nothing doing there. Oh, oh, I'm losing the controller. Oh, no. Okay, everything's good. Needed got there. Oh, reverse Irish whip. Into a shoulder tackle and an elbow drop. Howard doing everything he can to maintain early control. Robinson takes it back, though. And just going for the early covers. Trying to catch him off guard, maybe. It's an interesting strategy for sure. Oh, it doesn't get whatever he was going for there. Misses that kick by a lot. Short arm lariat, three minutes in. Howard not getting paid by the hour. Going to the big moves early. Pulls him out. Oh, into the full crab. No young boy here. DDT. I believe he was going for a suplex there, but Howard reversed it. And Howard now going for the pin. Nothing there either. A couple strikes going wide. Overhead suplex. Pulls him out. Oh, going for that. Rolling Larry early was Howard. Five minutes past. Robinson puts him in the corner and he hits a big kick. Howard throws Robinson outside and takes a moment to recover. Let's him back in. Both of these uh, men are very respectful wrestlers. Probably not going to see much of the Mikey Williams-esque. Oh, there's a choke there. He's got the choke in. Can Howard get out of it? Yes, he can. You're not going to see much of the Mikey Williams style iron claws and forks and sickles in this match. Just two men trying to prove who the better man is through kicks and punches and throws. Oh, double stomp there. Little baby double stomp. Tiger suplex. One, two. Vertical suplex there. Howard providing the throws for sure. Two count. Ooh. Kitchen sinks him. Howard able to recover though. Hey, Terror King, what's up? Another full crab. This time by Robinson. Wrenching back, but not able to finish it. A series of kicks there. Then calls for the end and stomps him. Oh, the figure four. That's what he was going for. Will Howard tap? Is this how Matt Robinson will? No, he will not win the title that way. Backing him up there. Oh, reversed. Howard hits his vertical suplex. And into the Boston car. This is a battle of Boston Crabs now. Some would say a crab battle, if you would. Oh, Colonel. I can't do a snake voice, sorry. Figure four, locked in the middle of the ring. He's going to have to get out the old-fashioned way. Howard does not tap, able to get out. Robinson here, reversed and thrown overhead. Oh, up kick. 
Robinson gets up first. Oh, it hits a fiery punch, I believe. And then a lariat. I'll call him for it. What's he going for here? Oh, he got reverse. He shouldn't have taken that brain buster. Oh, he shouldn't have taken that brain buster. But he also shouldn't have taken that moment to call to the crowd because it gave Howard what he needed. Now he's aiming for the head with the brain buster and the DDT and the lariat and the chin lock. All of this leading up to the package pile driver in order to keep him down for three. You disorient him, you hit him with all these different shots to the head, and then you finish it with another big spike. And you hope to keep him down for three. Oh, just kind of sloppily taking him down there. One, two, two count only. It does terror cane. It does in fact mean that it works. I've been playing it quite a bit over the last week or so. Oh, what's he calling for? Oh, kick to the back of the head. Oh, that's disgusting. I was drinking. I was not ready for that. Robinson. Some punches. Takes him down. Howard won't stay down, though. That might be a bit of a problem, because we do have a 20-minute time limit, and if this goes to a draw, that is a title retention for Jack Howard. And I know that these these are both respectful, honorable fighters, but I'm sure Jack Howard will, will take a title defense any way he can get it, as long as he's not the one initiating that cheating there. Oh, take it down. Is that going to be the start of something great here? For No. Half and half, right onto his head. Howard needs to capitalize here. Unable to do so. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Howard. Big jumping kick. And another kick. He's calling for it. Oh, thrown into the corner. Robinson. Blocked again. Oh, no. Here's a package, pile driver. Oh, but Matt, Matt's up first. Oh, the spirit of this, this fighter here, on full display. But he needs to get something going. Oh, oh, the pedigree. What? One, two. Oh, very, very nicely done there. Unable to put up. Oh. Another package, pile driver. Panem Howard, retain the title. One, two, three. Not so much. Suplex him down. Doesn't know what he's gonna need to do. Going for the flying punch and hits it. Oh, he got blocked. And another big high kick there from Matt Robinson. Robinson. Calling for it. Big Lariat. Needs to get it here, though. Oh, Dominator! Doesn't pin him, though. Oh! Spinning wheel kick. Unable to get it. Oh, vertical suplex. Only two minutes left, though. Kitchen sink. Needs to start thinking about finishing him here. Oh. Howard. Oh, no. Power slam. One, two. Two count only. But we're coming up on time in one minute. Robinson. Oh, he didn't get it. Howard calling for it. Spinning lariat. Howard picks him up. You're at 30 seconds, half and half suplex. Robinson's up first. Oh, go for it. He needs to hit a big move here. He's going for the pedigree. Pedigree. But he's not going to be able to pin him. Oh, my God. That is the time. 
Oh, and Howard, by the skin of his teeth, retains the title. That was fucking amazing. And it saved the card. Well, no, it didn't get us over at the 80. Huh. And we are in the green. New Japan has a tournament. NXT has a tournament. ROH has a tournament. Impact has a tournament. That's a very early 95% too. I am quite pleased. Oh, Ethan joined WWF Past. And Hulk Hogan joined NXT UK. We're just going to double check to see if that was Ethan. I think that was Ethan Page joining. Uh... Alright, so... I think he joined WWF. Yeah, Ethan Page has joined WWF. And NXT got... NXT UK, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got Hulk Hogan. NWO Hulk Hogan, too. First thing first, let's go try and lock down Savoy. Did I go too far? I feel like I've gone too far. There she is. Alright, we got her. And for now, I'll put her in the 666 heel stable. So now each has a two... Has a... Two heavies and two juniors. Which is, I'd like to get at least one more heavy for each to kind of round things out. So I'll be looking for heavyweights to sign. And uh, that said, we're going to have to do Bill and Nicole as the junior title match coming up. Which is, you know what, for that reason... I'm going to take him out. Take her out. Let's see how money's doing. God, our girds are terrible. Uh, we'll do photos. We're going to spend a lot of money this month because we're also going to do... So we need to be a level 2 gym in order to get like most of this stuff. And the balance ball is pretty good. Um, but I am going to hold off, I think, until I get to 200,000 in order to do that. Because I believe, if I'm right... Oh no, we're at our max of 8. Okay. So I definitely need to spend that money. So this is where we'll probably dip under. What? Yeah. Uh, I'll look into that. Thank you. Uh, we did 150 or one. I thought there was like a 125 type deal. I can just look at it real quick by doing this. Also, the dead time does give me time to take a sip of drink here. Collect myself. Uh, we'll do 125. We'll split the difference. We'll start with that and see how that goes.
I'll go back to change that. But thanks for the, the advice there. I'm definitely willing, or not willing, that's not the right word, but open to taking that sort of stuff. Oh, the conquistadors. Oh, I could get the conquistadors. So Sasha Banks is a junior. Definitely one to look for in the future, but not right now. Dana Bryan's... I would love to sign him, but I don't think we're at that point yet. Yeah, a lot of these are just too expensive at the moment. And I want to match style because if you don't, it increases, from what I understand, it increases the likelihood that they no-show your event. Which is, it, that can ruin things real quick. Oh, David Sammartino. Mm, no thanks. Jim Powers is bad. Oh, Arn Anderson would be a good pickup, I think. I just don't think we have the money for it. Oh, Hercules. Oh, I so want to sign him. Hey, I hear that, Terror. It's definitely the same here, to be honest. But uh, it's good to have you around for a little bit, and we'll see you around again. Hopefully, we'll be doing some TW on Monday, so if you could pop in then, be good to see you. If not, no worries, though. Oh, that's a cheap Vader. Oh, right. So we definitely have to go under a thousand here because I forgot that it inflates the price. So the salary is an actual salary, but if you're looking to, so like Mikey Whipwreck would be who we bring in. And he says no. Let's check out Japan. Really, Oka is over a thousand. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. I might end up going with the Conquistadors, not gonna lie. All right, so we got Walter. Oh, and Ho Ho Loon. All right, sure. Why not? Let us let's do a tag match with uh, our champ Jack Howard and the man he just drew with Matt Robinson taking on we'll do Thomas Walker and Mikey Williams. Actually, I'm going to do the t junior title match here. So we can watch the junior title match. I 
with Savoy and Bullock, and then I'll do that tag match here. So we'll uh, not watch Jack this show. And that can lead us to Wheeler Yuta taking on David Houston and the winner gets a junior title match. Yes, they are in the same stable, I'm aware. And Walter taking on Ho Ho Loon. And if Walter does well, I am going to make a make an attempt to sign him. Because I would like to see Walter versus some of these people. Damn it. I don't know if I could... Yeah, that's 5,000. I cannot justify that. They're trying to grow right now as a company. All right, did I check merch? I did. Before we go, just in case, I should not have named these two companies very, as similarly as I did. That's on me. Oh, Ho Ho Loon canceled. Well, Guess who's never working in this company again? Well, this is what I was talking about. You look at the uh, the attendance capacity. We were at full before Ho Ho Loon canceled. And now 500 people decided not to show up because of that. Which, I mean, it's a game, so it, it has to have punishments like that. But that's fucking bullshit. And also, I don't get to test Walter, which is also annoying. I might just sign him anyway. Uh, Alright, so... David Houston gets the win here. Houston will get the winner of our main event. Matt and Jack, Mikey and Thomas... Oh boy. Oh, Thomas Walker gets the win. And I think I'm going to run Thomas Walker and Jack Howard now. Would have been better if he pinned the champ, but what can you do? And here we go. Uh, Nicole Savoy and Bill Bullock for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. I'm kind of rooting for Savoy here, to be honest. In my other save, Bull Bullock is absolute trash. So if we get the title off of him, that would be great. Here we go. The first junior heavyweight title match to main event our show. And I guess technically the first woman to main event our show, even though it's only the third show. Nicole Savoy and Bull Bullock starting out here. This is a 20 minute time limit, as all our main events are. I only say that because of how much it came into effect last show. Elbow down there. Then a cross arm choke there. By Savoy. 
Arm ringer. Bullock. No. Reversed. Stays in the ring, though. Misses the kick. Misses the kick again. Savoy missing a kick. Work at that arm, though. Maybe looking for some sort of arm submission later in the match. As she appears to be focusing heavily on the arm of Bill Bullock. Bullock doing whatever he can to try and take back advantage and spinning neck breaker there. But Savoy just almost toying with him at this point. Getting whatever she wants whenever she wants it. Savoy pulls him out of the ropes. Into the Boston Crab. Favorite move here at 2K Wrestling, the full Boston Crab. Oh, kitchen sink there. I always get nervous when they both run the ropes because like 50% of the time it seems to end up where they do a double down. Boy pulling. Oh, just a kick to the inner thigh. Couple of them there. Just trying to tighten up the hamstring, make it hard to move. Just mounted punches there by Bullock. Frustration more than anything else showing here. So he's had a pretty good reign. He's got a title defense. Won the first. Uh, is going to always be the first ever junior heavyweight champion. Oh, mounted punches to the back of the head. Referee counting. Armbar. Oh, he's got it. Got it locked in. Wrenching back on it. Savoy eats a spinning neck breaker. And then a double stomp. And another. Ooh. Knee on knee there. That can't feel good for anyone. Uh, release double uh, double underhook suplex Bill again with the mounted punches he's just trying to get a fluke knockout win here I feel like oh oh what a submission there not something I've seen before wrenching on the neck and the arm at the same time believe that's probably like a Savoy lock. Savoy stretch. I don't know. I don't know if she has a name for it. But it was a fancy submission nonetheless. As Oh! Suplex into the arm but that is in the ropes. And another release. Double underhook. Getting the crowd on her side here. And is able to get a... One. Two. Oh, the Brain Buster. Two suplexes and a Brain Buster. Bills back up, but immediately eats a kick. And this is all Nicole at this point. Yeah, break of the eye there. Needs to do that. Oh, and a straight right. That'll stop your momentum real quick. Bullock drops the knee. Oh, suplex into the arm. Wrenching back on it. Will this be a new champ here? No. Oh, misses that. Desperation Lariat. Into the ropes. Oh, Spanish fly. This is a juniors match, lest we forget. Oh, Kamara. Rolling Kamara. Will Bullock submit? No. I must say, I am quite impressed with the performance Savoy has put on, capturing the arm, pulling back on it. No. The focus has been there. Everything she has done. Focusing on that arm. 
trying to get that submission. She just needs to put it away. Up kick. Both fighters were down for a moment there, but Savoy able to get up first. Bullock taking the advantage, though, here. Oh, I don't know if that was well advised. Oh, punches to the back of the head again. Taking advantage of the five count. To inflict as much damage as possible. Fisherman suplex, I believe. Also, if you are new here, welcome. I, I do normally play other games, but I've been really getting into this fire promoter. So there's going to be a bit more of that moving forward. And we would love to have you. Again with the arm. Oh, kick to the lower area. Does the finger guns. Bang, bang, says Bull Bullock. Oh, again with the knee on knee. Oh, the stomach claw. This is what he's won his matches with so far. Is he going to get that victory out of nowhere? No. Savoy. Just like that, Bullock is right into this match, though. Oh, rolling Larry into the stomach claw. Again, trying to just get that submission victory. Get that fluke. No. Oh, poke of the eyes. Oh, gets another one. Bull Bullock is having a second win here. Finally piecing together all the moves that he's looking for. Big clothesline, but no. Into the stomach claw, center of the ring. This might be it here. This has been a, a terrible two minutes for Nicole Savoy. She needs to get back to what she, she started with, but for Bill Bullock, everything's gone right. Well, not anymore. Oh, you gotta take advantage. Oh, that might that might Ah, never mind. She's able to take advantage there. Big head scissor. Bullock hits the ropes now. Shoulder tackle to the back. Oh, just another shot below the belt by Bullock. Does not have the desired effect, though. Just a running kick. That's not pretty, but it's effective. And the double down, as I was talking about earlier. Who will get up for both at the same time? One, two, it's going to go with the Brain Buster again. She does. She pulls him out. What do we got? Into the ropes. It's going to go for the arm. Yes. And that is, and it's over. Nicole Savoy has won the junior heavyweight title. Yeah, I would say a pretty good match. That flying cross arm breaker animation is so dope. A lot of the a lot of the submission animations I feel like are real real fun. And Nicole Savoy in the matter of three months went from freelancer getting a shot to the champ in the main event. Yeah, we lost 42,000 there, but 30 of that was on... So 37 of that was on stuff that we were going to do anyway, so... Let's see. We should start making money back pretty soon, though. Hideo is looking to fight. Uh, sure, we'll take Hideo. I don't think Hideo is going to actually show up, though. 
All right, so we're going to go and try and get Walter. We'll offer them five. Oh, Walter said no. Damn. Oh, your name's purple. I can't see who it is. Oh, Mort. Hey, how's it going, Mort? Yeah, I thought, you know, maybe he'd take the five. We have no money. All right. We'll still invite Walter. So we'll do Walter and Hideo. Let's see if we can... Oh, but that... Is that a good idea? Mikey Whitbreck, you wanna? God, Mikey, come on, man. Alright, so no to Sammy. Could probably get Shelton Benjamin. How much do you want? Sure. Alright. So we got Walter, Sasha, Shelton, Hideo. We only lost 40k because of uh, mandatory expenses that we needed to dole out. Speaking of mandatory expenses. Can we just get rid of these? Come on, man. We are not making any money on merch. All right. Wait a minute, he's a champion. Can I heck, can I? No, I can't have him fight for his championship, damn it. Do a tag main event here of champion Nicole Savoy and champion Jack Howard. Taking on, actually it would make more sense to do it this way. Hold on. And challenger, Thomas Walker versus champion, Jack Howard and challenger, David Houston. There we go. Now I'm thinking. Matt Robinson. And Mickey Williams. Bill Bullock. Uh-oh. Bill Bullock needs to sit out a show, I think. As does Wheeler Yuta, so we're going to actually sit those two. Which is... Good thing I hired so many extras. 
Walter. And Hideo. Sasha and Shelton. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's some money. Everyone needs to show up at this show, but we're making the money. Hey, there we go. There we are. Not bad at all. All right, Sasha and Shelton. Oh, they pull an 87 out. All right. Can sign either one of them, that's for sure. Walter and Hideo. Oh, wow, that match was bad. Maybe it's a good thing Walter didn't sign then. Goodness. Just a, a match for bragging rights here as Mikey Williams defeats Matt Robinson through nefarious means, no doubt. Here we go. The Noble team versus Nicole Savoy and Thomas Walker. Oh, what is this super awesome music? Give this man all the belts, just for that music. Every single title belt. And his partner, Jack Howard. Oh my God. Thomas Walker has the same music. That's weird. Streamlabs is showing that the sound is coming through, so... You should be able to hear the music. Also, these two look like a proper tag team. Oh, I had it too low. Okay. There we go. Turned it up a little bit. Hopefully it's not... Hopefully it's not overpowering me. Also, that music was great. You just have no taste. You don't know what fine, proper music sounds like. Meanwhile, in the match here, we're starting off with uh, the junior heavyweight champion and the heavyweight champion in the ring, Savoy and Jack Howard. Oh, and Savoy going right to the arm. The only concern I have about uh, Nicole Savoy is that she might legitimately cripple our wrestlers because after one match, uh, Bullock's arms were both red. So that's disconcerting. Savoy taking on both members of Noble here.
Here comes Thomas Walker. Walker. Able to take the advantage here with a scoop slam. Oh, just throws him down and <laughs> knee to the gut. And to the Boston Crab. A specialty move here at 2K Wrestling. We love the Boston Crab. It's a charging knee there. Oh! Looks like he was going for a jumping takedown maneuver. Caught nothing but air there. Walker tags in Savoy. And we have Houston and Savoy in the ring. These two will be fighting for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. And Houston gets an advantage and does a standing... Standing shooting star? Standing, yeah. But only gets a one count out of it. Boy, taking on everyone. Everyone's in the ring, by the way. And the two heavyweights are legal. So, Walker and Howard, the Hollywood hunk. These two will face off next month for the heavyweight championship. Knee to the arm, it looks like. Howard pulls him out. Captures him. They didn't get anything on because it was in the ropes. And tags out to Houston. Assisted power bomb. Howard doesn't want to get out. There he goes. A lot of misses there. Savoy German. Oh, that is a real, real good animation. Arm. It's got the armbar. She's locked it in tight. Dude. Dumped out of the ring. Tags out to Walker. Oh, a couple of kicks there for Houston. Walker again going for something, but misses. Now just choking him. Thomas Walker is a creep. A little bit. My concern is he's also not very over. So I think the title match might be bad, which is why I wanted to give him another month of being in a main event and hopefully gaining a little bit of popularity. Elbow down, goes to the top, decides to not to do anything. What a heel. Oh, is that the... Oh, I don't... Is that a drift away? Oh, the Savoy Lock, I believe. Wrenching at the neck and the arm. Houston oh, went for the moonsault, but Howard picked her up, ruining that that attempt there by Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, two suplexes and a brain buster. Tags out. Chases. A, oh, we got Walker and Houston legal here. Nice takedown. Oh, went for the frog splash, but missed. Houston. Has a takedown of his own. What's he got in mind? Drop kick to a seated man. Crossroads. Oh, and then the chainsaw. I rake there by Walker. What is this? Oh, she crushed it. Going for the pin. One, two. Broken up by Howard. Into a chin lock. 
just to establish some dominance there. Uh, sent on there. And we got a strike exchange here in Walker's corner, though. Oh, it doesn't matter. Eats the drop kick. Paradise lock. Submission maneuver. Houston. Oh, broken up by Savoy. Assisted power bomb here. And then a flip for no reason. You know what? I might I might like Walker. Anyone who does a flip for no reason is okay by me. Oh, blocks the hurricane run attempt, but that's in the ropes on the power bomb after. La Mahistral. Broken up. Oh, in the ropes, sorry. Savoy has Houston now. Runs. Cross. Oh, I thought I was gonna go for the she was gonna go for the cross arm breaker there. Doesn't do it. And that's jumping kicks here. Maybe she knows she doesn't quite have it yet. Oh, there it is. Cross on breaker. And wrong side of the ring. Not sure that would have been the end anyway, but got to have better ring awareness. That's for sure in a tag team match. Tags out. So Walker and Houston yet again are the legal men in the ring. Oh, flying pin. One, two, three. Oh, no. Kicks out at the last minute. Howard's slow to recover there. Oh. Benadriller into a moonsault. One, two. Broken up by Savoy. Someday Walker will hit these moves. Today is not that day. Reverse choke slam. Oh, he shoots him in the back of the head. Howard. Oh, don't taunt. Just gives your opponent a chance. Oh, the moonsault. Oh, and dumps him out again. This time going after him. Oh, and... We got this spill into the outside now. All four combatants out of the ring. TKO to the floor. Boston Crab on the floor. You know that hurts more. Oh, we're at 15. Everyone gets back in. Oh. Package pile driver. Yeah. Hits it. One, two, go oh, kick out. Walker proving that he can kick out of the package pile driver before his big title match. Oh, brain buster though. Oh, also taking some damage here. Walker wants out of this match. And we are going to get a time limit draw here. No winner. Eighty nine seems a little high for that match, but okay. It was a fine match. Look at that great success. And that 19,000 that we just made. So I think I'm going to go for Sasha Banks. Or really, yeah, we made 15 grand. I might splurge. I think Randy Orton just joined the Japanese Indies. <laughs> Cactus Jack was arrested for inciting violence. Oh, should I go for Sasha or should I go for like, should I throw something good out there and go for Daniel Bryan?
I think I want Daniel Bryan. Uh, I'm gonna go for 10. Mm. We have 20 to throw. All right, we got Daniel Bryan. All right, Daniel Bryan is a heavy. I will be moving him into Noble. That is for sure. And I think I'll move Savoy into the 666 stable. Uh, is it in? It is in. Okay. So that means if 666 gets another uh, heavy, then we will be all set. I would love for that heavy to be Walter, but he did not live up to my expectations in that last match there. All right, uh, check on. Uh, we'll grab some of that. We're definitely gonna lose money on this show, but that's okay. Want to invite? Uh, is there anyone here who we should invite? Um, oh, Barbarian's a strong style. A B, a C plus, a C, and cheap. All right. Get them, get Walter, get Sasha Banks again. All right. The other thing I got to check before I get going is how our wrestlers are doing. Condition normal, normal, good, normal, good, normal, good, normal, good. All right. Everyone can wrestle. So the Junior Heavyweight Championship here. Go oh, 125 speed. And that's going to be Nicole Savoy taking on David Houston. Have another tag match here to keep our keep our guys well rested. We'll have Howard and Robinson taking on Walker and Williams. We'll do Bull Billick and Daniel Bryan here. Wheeler Yuta being our last guy. Uh, Obarion. Because I want to do Walter and Sasha Banks. Because Sasha did well last time. Walter did not. We'll see what's up with that. Oh, we could probably. We don't need a poster for that. I'm going to do it. 
I'm gonna go with a $40 show here and see if we can somehow make money on this. I don't think we will, but I'm gonna try. Oh, I need everyone to show up here too. I hate relying on freelancers. Uh, all right. Oh, I did the junior one this time. I was going to do the heavy. Damn it. I did it in reverse. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Everyone showed up, which is good. We got the 10% uh, of sellout. So we're fine there. It's Walter. Walter's the problem. All right, we're not going to sign Walter. Sorry, chat. Yeah, see, the Obarian did all right. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, Barion would be good in the 666 stable too, actually. Dan O'Brien getting a win. Which is good. It's a tag match to keep these guys well rested. And our junior title match with Savoy and Houston. Then we'll do, I think, the main title and call it a night. All right, David Houston and Nicole Savoy. Savoy, we know, will be working the arm, trying to get with get an arm submission victory here, which is how she won the title. Uh, Houston has a lot of high-flying moves at his disposal, and will be looking to outspeed Nicole Savoy to a victory. And she is already starting in on that arm, which is bad news for David Houston. He needs to fight defensively here. Make sure that he protects his arms. Oof. Test of strength won by Nicole Savoy. So that sh strength isn't really what she's known for. She's definitely a technician. So a little surprising there. Headlock takeover. Fought out of. It's a kick there. A cross arm choke. Houston has been avoiding a little bit of the, the arm offense. Maybe had that game plan going into it. Oh, geez, Angel Wings into a surfboard. But that's in the ropes, question mark. Strike exchange here. Houston getting the better of it and hits the drop kick to the face. So boys up first though. Went for the angel wings again. No backside. No. Oh. Double underhook suplex there by Savoy. One count only. Cross arm breaker. 
unable to get it. Five minutes past here, and we've already seen a cross arm breaker. Standing shooting is dar one count only. Oh, Houston's stringing together some moves here. Oh, goes over. Bits the drop kick. It's been a good series of offense here as Nicole Savoy tumbles to the floor. Houston's been stringing it together. It's a basement drop kick. Savoy trying just to, a pin to slow down David Houston now. Savoy needs to go back to what won her this title, working on the arm, going for those submissions. It looks like she's gotten away from that strategy, and it is allowing Houston to just take advantage here. One, two, ooh. The pop-up hurricane runner. Backslide, one, one count only. Savoy suplexed out of the ring. Oh, what's going on? Ow! Oh! The shooting star out of the ring, and then the reverse choke slam to the floor. Houston wants this title all around the world. Satellite head scissors there. And then a takedown. He is doing everything he can here. Went for the kitchen sink, but... Houston avoided it. This might be a quick title reign here as again. Satelliting. And what do we got here? Oh, but it's really, oh, but Savoy's up first. Oh, she needs to take advantage here. I'm just hitting some strikes. Oh, she has got to. Oh, geez. Never mind. Roundhouse kick to the back of the head. And don't listen to me. You've got your own plan and it's working here, Nicole Savoy. What do we got? Oh, uh, fighting out of the corner. No, no, no. Super kick. Oh, big kick to the head. Savoy just fighting on pure instinct here. Oh, and that's Houston able to take advantage of a mistake there. Oh. Both fighters here taking advantage of mistakes. Savoy lets him back in. Pop up Hurricane Rana. One, two, three. New champ. New champ. David Houston is the junior heavyweight champion. Eighty-five. All right. I thought that was better than the tag match, but okay. That was uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh... Let's see what we got for money. Pretty good attendance. Oh, yeah. 20 grand. So we can definitely spend some money there. Ah, that's still not selling at all. We could try and sign Sami Zayn, but his stats aren't great. Shelton did well in his match with uh, Sasha Banks, and he is a heavy. But Baryon was also the one that I looked at, and I thought he did very well as well. Where was he? Was he Europe? He was Europe. 
Eh. All right. So Barian, and that should fill us up because we have two juniors, three heavies. I guess at most I would probably put another junior in each so that you have a tag and a uh, singles wrestler in both. But honestly, I would move on at this point to, if I once I upgrade the gym, to doing a third stable. And then start moving people from these two into that. So like a Wheeler Yuta, who doesn't necessarily fit in this one. Or even a Daniel Bryan, who doesn't necessarily fit in this one. Nicole Savoy, who doesn't fit in this one. That sort of thing. So we now have 10 wrestlers. I would like to have 12. So I'm going to get two more from the... Uh, the freelance market here and i am going to go back to sasha banks she has been good and cheap if you find someone who is both good and cheap you run back to that well oh do we go with scorpio Or test. Let's see if we can grab uh we got two ddps why not let's test vader And the heavyweight championship being the main event. Thomas Walker getting his shot. Actually, I'm going to do Obarian. Oh, Obarian is a junior. So this team has three juniors and two heavies, which is a bit weird. I did not mean to do it that way. We'll do Mikey and David. Barry on a bull bullock, maybe? That could be a tag team, I guess. And then Matt Robinson and Daniel Bryan is also a tag team. Ah, uh, do I want to put the... Do I want to do a tag title belt here? I don't know if I want to commit to a tag division with only 10 wrestlers. Uda. I didn't check conditions. Everyone's good. Uda and Savoy. And then the last match here is Sasha Banks and Vader. Okay, 
So we can do a full house and a small hall, but the expenses are much more. Yeah, or we can do a gym. And sell that out. Which is what I'm going to do. Do one more save here. We are in June, which means we will have done six months or a half year tonight. It's a pretty good, pretty good run for one stream. Let's see if Vader is worth signing. No. You know, he gets a win in a decent match. But beating a former champ, that might get you a title shot. Just saying. Decent tag match here between Dan O'Brien and Matt Robinson, Abarian and Bill Bullock. Houston and Mikey Williams in a just a, a prove yourself match. Mikey Williams pins the junior heavyweight championship. Champion. Maybe the championship too. Pins that. It's real weird. Walker and Howard in our main event. My bad. Here we go, Jack Howard finally defending his belt versus Thomas Walker. Walker has been number one contender for a few months now. Getting that one-on-one -on -one opportunity. They met in a tag match and that ended in a draw. And of course, who could forget Thomas, or who could forget Jack Howard's last title defense? That also ended in a draw versus Matt Robinson. Some say that uh, if that had gone on just 10 seconds longer, that we would have Matt Robinson here as our champion. But if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. And it's just not the case. Ducks a line. Chin crusher. And that knee strike there. Loved by the fans. Plants them. Walker seems to be taking advantage of... Oh, as I say that. He, he at least has come out hot as Walker. So, he's got that going for him. See here if uh, Howard's able to piece together some moves and start stemming off this momentum. I'll put some up top. What do we got here? Oh... Sunset power flip power bomb. Howard blocked whatever they were going for there and turned it into a devastating power bomb. Circling each other. Just trying for some moves there. As Walker, nothing hitting. Just bowls them over. Oh, gonna go to the floor here. Howard's going to let him back in. Oh, blocks that. Attempted shoulder block there. And drops the elbow on him, Walker does. There are five minutes past here. Ooh, is that a stunner? What do we got there? 
Oh, an interesting submission maneuver, and he's going to keep doing it because I don't know the name of it. And he wants to put me in that situation. So, a strike exchange here. Walker going up top. Oh, misses the elbow drop. Oh, how he got out of the way at the last moment. Now just wrenching back on the face. Howard. Boston Crab. Favorite move of 2K Wrestling. The Boston Crab. Oh. Another chin lock here. Howard seems to be taking it a little slow here. I don't know if he's just taking his opponent lightly or... Oh, a fork! Oh, take that lightly, you chump! Reminiscent of Mickey Williams and his fight for the title. Thomas Walker busting the Hollywood hunk open. Oh, spinning lariat. One, two, two count only. Shin crusher into the choke. Referee giving a count here. Another chin lock here by Howard. Trying to regain his senses, I think, after that nasty fork incident. In the ropes there. Flying pin attempt by Walker. A brain buster! Howard gets the brain buster. Going up top. The flying fist. We are 10 minutes into this 20 minute time limit. The pin one, two, no. Oh, he misses the Superman punch in the corner. Howard's going to take advantage. No. Walker able to get some strikes in there. And a drop kick. And another fork. Oh, disgusting. What depths won't he sink to to win? A Boston Crab in the blood. And... Oh, Shigarushi! That's his finish. One, two, no. So we know Walker can kick out of the package pile driver as we saw that last month, but now... Howard has also kicked out of the Oshigurushi, and he finally hit it! The jumping takedown! The zigzag! Oh no, the front zigzag. Jumping takedown! Neckbreaker there. Oh! So spinning slam and another jumping takedown. Walker putting it together here. Taking a bit of a rest in the corner. Try the spinning kick. It doesn't work. Howard. DDT. And if you're Walker, you saw what happened to Matt Robinson. You know you got to start putting it away soon. Uh-oh. Package pile driver. One. Two. Oh. Walker does it and kicks out, but just barely. Sloppy takedown there. One, two. Oh, most won it with a sloppy takedown. That would have been weird. Oh, double down. Great. Oh, the second package brother. Oh, he hit it. Oh, no. One, two. No. Oh. Tiger Suplex 1, 2, 3. Got it. And now I'll finally get to know if that is actually a Tiger Suplex or not. But a successful title defense here from Howard. Not letting the time limit run out. A 94. All right. They're calling it a double arm suplex. That's what I'll go with then. It's a big title defense there for Jack Howard. 
You gotta think, where do you go from here? And my thoughts are you go back to Matt Robinson and you don't have a time limit. It was a bad show, but we sold out. I do like these pictures here. I think that's very neat. Forty four thousand. All right. Mikey Williams has been on a bit of a, a winning streak here. Um, so I, I wouldn't be opposed to giving him another shot. But he did he did get pinned clean by Howard on our first show. Whereas Matt Robinson has not been pinned by Matt by our champ. Now, if I am correct, I believe... Okay, I can sign two more. So I would like a heavyweight. So that would be... Rusev. Oh. Was Rusev always here? Was Cesaro always here and always not over? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Ugh. All right. Did that say? Uh, I must see popularity in already here. Whereas this, I'm still a D, even though I have way more money. And this, wait a minute. That's not right. That save should be much further along. That's annoying. Deleted some of my progress there. And this one took a lot longer to get to that C. And I have more money in this already. So I think I'm doing a little better than I than I did in the one with Swarley, but hey, what can what can you do? Anyway, that is going to be it for tonight. I hope I can see all of you uh, lovely people on Monday, where we'll be doing Nick versus Chat. And then maybe this again on Wednesday? Who knows? Who can say? It won't be my wife's birthday again, so I know that. I just named it TCW. Um, it's not actually TCW wrestlers, though. Anyway, I am going to go to bed. It is 1130. But, uh, have a good one, and thanks for watching. <laughs>